Hello and welcome. One of the most important issues that we have to talk about in intelligent buildings is the exact detection of presence. Presence plays a huge part in the automation of functions such as lighting, heating, security and ventilation. And so therefore, in this video, we're going to take a closer look at the Loxon Presence Sensor. With a viewing angle of 360 degrees and a beam angle of 110 degrees, the detection range is 8 meters with a ceiling height of 3 meters. The presence sensor is equipped with an acoustic sensor that detects noises and measures the volume level. The volume level is then transmitted to the mini server. The acoustic sensor ensures that after motion is detected, the timeout is extended so long as there is a sound above a certain threshold. In addition to the functions that detect presence, the presence sensor is also equipped with a high quality brightness sensor. This brightness sensor is ideally suited to activating or deactivating certain functions that are not required if there is sufficient natural light in the room. Plus, thanks to the precision of the brightness sensor, this can be used to commission constant light levels, such as daylight responsive lighting. So, in practice, this would be the scenario. A person enters the room, and this motion is detected by the presence sensor. This activates the lighting, for example. If the person now moves outside the detection range after activation and causes a noise that is above the adjustable threshold, then the timeout is extended. Should the timeout be reached as neither motion nor audio has been detected, then presence can be reactivated within 10 seconds of this by means of an acoustic signal, for instance, a clapping sound. The presence sensor can also trigger an alarm if it detects a set noise level is exceeded. With the fibre reinforced mounting bracket, the presence sensor tree can be easily and securely mounted on either the ceiling or the wall. And thanks to tree technology, our partners benefit from a familiar ease of install with consistent colour coded connections. The two orange white terminals are used for power, and the two green white terminals for communications. Tree Technology is a free-form wiring topology, and you can connect up to 50 devices on each branch of the tree extension. Loxon Tree Cable has been specifically developed for this very purpose. You can find out more information about Loxon Tree Technology in the link included in the video description. Once the tree cable has been physically connected to the present sensor, the built-in LED of the device will indicate its status. If the LED flashes orange, the device has not yet been paired in config but is otherwise 100% ready for use. If the LED flash is red, this indicates a potential issue with the wiring. Once the device has been physically installed, next we turn to Loxon Config to continue the commissioning by pairing the device. Begin a search for tree devices and the presence sensor will appear here on the list. By simply clicking on the presence sensor in Config, the LED on the physical device will flash to identify it. Next, you need to specify the room and the installation place. After the presence sensor has been successfully paired, you can now make adjustments to the different parameters or thresholds. To do this, select the presence sensor in the periphery tree. Here you can adjust values such as the sensitivity, the overrun time, and the volume transmission cycles. The higher the follow-up time and transmission cycle are set, the fewer packets need to be processed. To edit the volume thresholds, click on Edit. A dialog box will now open, showing the current maximum and minimum volume of a transmission cycle. From this graph, the maximum point should help you decide what the threshold value should be. Now you can define the minimum values for presence and the alarm. When setting these values, please make sure that the basic noise level of, for example, dishwashers, refrigerators, and other equipment is taken into account. Once the threshold values have been defined, the configuration can begin. To do this, connect the inputs of the device, for example, brightness, motion, and presence, to various suitable function blocks. With the sound level alarm input, you can, for example, initiate an emergency alarm to trigger a call with just a few clicks. Then, if a noise level is detected above the relevant threshold value, an alarm is triggered. When setting this up, Always consider the noise levels that would typically be heard in that room, 
such as a loud volume on the TV or radio, as this would trigger a false alarm if the threshold volume is too low. You can find more information and the technical data of the Loxon Presence sensor on our website, loxon.com. That's all for now though, and thanks for watching.